Welcome to the Windows and Computer Channel, and this is the um, kind of uh, video talking about your old computers and um, that are running Windows 7. So I'm very specific here. I'm not talking about old old computers that you know run Windows XP and can't run anything else. Um, I'm talking about laptops and desktop computers that everybody's using. They're still on Windows 7 and working well on Windows 7. Uh, I get the question uh, asked all the time about performance of Windows 10 on these machines versus Windows 7. So, of course, a lot of people think, well, Windows 10 is a more modern operating system, so it must be heavier on resource, so it must be much slower on old PCs. And the funny thing is that it's not what I observe, actually. Um, I've got a few old computers that are 8, 7, 8, 9, and I got one that's like 11 years old running Windows 10. And um, the original 11, uh, you know, the 11 year old PC that I uh, am running Windows 10 right now originally was on Windows Vista when I purchased the machine. I eventually upgraded to uh, Windows 7 and it ran Windows 7 for a long time. And of course, when the upgrade process uh, was um, done in 2015, where you could upgrade for a year for free, I upgraded the machine to Windows 10. The experience back then wasn't that great, I have to admit. But now I've gone back to Windows, so I've got back to Windows 7, and now it's back to Windows 10. But with the latest update, the latest version, the May 2019 update. And I gotta say, I'm pleasantly surprised. and. Pretty much all old PCs that I see are running Windows 10 at least as fast as Windows 7. And in some cases, it's actually even faster than Windows 7. I would say that on my 11-year-old Toshiba, Windows 10 seems to be a little faster than Windows 7 was when I was using it. So it gives you an idea. What are the, 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 um, you know, the specs of that machine? Well, it's an old Core 2 Duo running at 1.5 gigahertz. It has, of course, a dedicated graphics adapter, so it has its own graphics adapter on the laptop, a Radeon card of the time. It's got a regular old magnetic hard drive, a one terabyte, not even the one terabyte, 500 gig drive, I believe. And it has four gigabytes of RAM. So four gigabytes of RAM um, shows to be enough to run Windows 10 quite well, actually. Now, if you have less than 4 gigabytes, that's where it's getting a trouble. And that's where I'm not sure of upgrading. So if you're asking a question, should I, you know, buy a new PC or should I upgrade my existing old computer to Windows 10? Will it run? Well, the chances are it will run. Chances are it will run well. Uh, even chances are it will run better. But there are specs that you need to check out. So if you're on a uh, computer that, for example, has less than 4 gigabytes of memory or, or RAM, that I would not probably not think of upgrading to Windows 10. Um, Windows 10 minimum requirement is 2 gigabytes of RAM. Uh, 2 gigabytes of RAM is not what you want to have on Windows 10 because now it's going to be slow. Um, but uh, honestly, even Windows 7 on a 2 gigabyte computer is probably very slow. So that is something to think about. But if you got 4 gigabytes of RAM at least uh, on that old machine, I think that the chances are you're going to have a, a good upgrade and a pretty nice upgrade. The other thing is, is it compatible or not? Well, you all know because one, you, when you install Windows 10, it actually tells you if something cannot be upgraded. So it's going to tell you, well, you know what, with the checks that we've done, with the things that we've observed, your machine is not compatible with what, with Windows 10. There are exceptions to the rule where some machines that have possibilities are not working well. For example, I've got one Toshiba here that uh, refuses to display on the internal screen of the laptop. The funniest part is it works well when I'm plugged into an external screen that works but the internal screen doesn't work well in Windows 10 but you go back to Windows 7 and everything's alright so there are a few little glitches like that that some machine might have 
um, you might want to go to the manufacturer website and see sometimes some old machines the manufacturer will say well it's not you know supported on Windows 10 but might work because a lot of computers that are not supported still work well on Windows 10 some will say oh it it's supported and you should be okay it all depends you know machine by machine but I think it's a great way to recycle an old computer uh, if that computer on Windows 7 actually works well remember that key that product key from Windows 7 it upgrades your Windows 7 to Windows 10 for free that still works why not try it out you know you go to the website and um, click the upgrade process from the website I'll be posting the link to that site in the description below the video you can click upgrade or you can click the uh, media creation tool and create a DVD or a USB thumb drive and do a clean install if you wish so um, it's I think a great way to recycle and honestly for most PCs for the big majority of the PCs Windows 10 will run as fast as your Windows 7 install and in many cases actually faster because it, there are a few things Windows 10 is more efficient at doing and uh, in many cases it even runs faster. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.